right to the corridors of justice. The High Court has barred Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome and other police officers from using force on striking doctors in a case filed by lobby groups. In a court order issued on Tuesday, that is 16th of April, Milimali Court Justice Jaira, Nga, Jaira Nga prohibited Kome from moving forward with orders given to police officers on April 14th to use force on medics picketing on the streets and the highways. According to the judge, Kome and other superior officers will be held liable for issuing unconstitutional orders and directives to officers under their command to use unlawful force on striking doctors. Have a look. Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumicha says the government is ready to engage in talks with health practitioners to bring to an end the ongoing strike which is in its fifth week. I want to assure you and assure the public in Kenya that other governments we are working around the clock to ensure an amicable and lasting solution is reached. Her pronouncement comes a day after health practitioners through their unions notify the public of the ongoing strike which has entered day 36. Which they are trying to intimidate and the us that we should not go for protest. We are saying we have not, we are not contaminants of any court order and we have not breached any constitution, artic, I mean article in, on the constitution. If there is any, they will have mentioned. So stop fabricating and sending information that are lies. We are determined to bring the change we want. According to the unions, the government is in a position to address their needs, but has chosen to ignore them at the expense of Kenyans who put them in office. Because COG says that they are employers 100%, they can't just be employers by the word of mouth. It's a high time that they be employers who can pay and can honor collective bargaining agreements. Know that the time that we want CBAs to be negotiated, CBAs to be implemented, they run away. We are saying as healthcare workers, because we are here as all workers, the doctors, the nurses, the clinical officers, the lab technologies, that there is no way that the healthcare can function if we do not consider the, the human resource component of it. The government has strongly on the, uh, the brick and mortar, the white elephant projects, which just give the uh, infrastructures, but there's no human resource component and that's why we have doctors not being employed and health workers not being employed we have interns now their salary is being reduced by 90 percent and some 70 percent in the same breath kenya national union of nurses secretary general seth panyako has said that nurses might be forced to join the ongoing strike if the ongoing strike is not settled nurses kama wa uguzi hata kama wa menikataza kenya mzima wataki mgomo nataka kuambia serikali kwamba nina uwezo wa kurudi kuwa convince wakubali sisi tunataka hospitali za umma zianze kufanya kazi wao wasuluhishe maneno ya madaktari na hao clinic officers na wengine mara ngapi moja mara moja mara speaking in busia county panyako said their services in public hospitals have been crippled to as doctors clinical officers and pharmaceutical technologists play a huge role in hospitals basi mimi sijakuja hapa kuingia ofisi ya mtu yote nimekuja hapa kuambia busia county government ya kwamba huu mgomo uletolewa ilani na mimi mwenyewe kwa hivyo nawaambia hii mgomo itakuwa paka muli mulipo na mfanye promo promotion there is no turning back this strike has been processed according to the law and within the law mimi nimekuja hapa kusema walipe pe pesa I am not entering anyone's office. Nyinyi ndio ofisi ya ofisi yangu. Kwa hivyo nawaambia mlipe pesa, mkisha alipa, muniite niandike return to work formula. Hakuna mambo mengine. The ongoing strike has seen patients across the country forced to seek medical services in private hospitals or delay their treatment with some resulting in death. Moja ya kwamba kama hakuna reas kwa pesa lips. Pesa lips inafungwa hii wiki. Kama hakuna azahau. Azahau wa, wa hao wangwana kwa ka? kwa kazi. Kama hakuna letter za promotion wa hao wangwana washike kwa mkono. Wafanye namna gani? Wasahau au wauguzi na wafanyikazi wengine watakuwa kazi 
Kazini. Despite the challenge of receiving money late from national government, we are now months in, uh, in delayed uh, payments, delayed disbursements from national government. We have committed, and this month we are going to pay a part of the arrears that are due to those people. Let it be remembered that these are arrears arising from 2020-2021 strike. Promotions had not been processed for a number of years. Now we are forced to process 900, which should have been processed a lot earlier, 900 promotions. We have taken the first two steps of the four steps required to get those people promoted, and that matter is progressing and progressing well. However, CS Nahumicha says the delay in resolving the issues is because the government is working to solve the problem in the health sector once and for all and will not settle for any short-term solution. What we do not want to do as a government is to put a bandage on a wound without treating it. We are hopeful that with the collaboration with the Council of Governors, I know we are working hand in hand to make sure that we come with the best decision that will bring uh, a mediation to this element, uh, then our country will continue to receive health services. Doctors and clinical officers union have announced joint weekly protests to push for their demands. Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentist Union, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers and Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officers say the protests to be held every Tuesday are in response to the government's alleged attempts to suppress the ongoing nationwide healthcare workers' strike. And we are here now on a strike where we are demanding that the issues that we have presented to them, that is the employment of doctors, the composition of interns, the implementation of the CBA, that is also the matters of, uh, of, of insurance, must be implemented. So we are working to the COG. We will be here next week on Tuesday and we will continue being there. Today marks the 34th the day of our strike. But we are ready to go for 100 days. We are ready to go for 200 days. We are ready to go for 100 years. The union reaffirmed the legality and necessity of their protest, directly challenging claims made by Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome. All the union, we have said, that there's no amount of threats, no amount of victimizations or intimidation that will make us suspend this particular strike. This comes days after the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, released a statement terming the doctor's strike a nuisance and order regional police commanders to deal with such situations firmly. We will not relent. We will be on the streets. If there's any law against Vuvuzuelas and whistles, we need to be read for. And we need, they need to take it to court, not just writing statements. KMPDU Secretary General Davjia Teller, however, dismissed the police boss' comments as falsehood meant to intimidate the doctors' union to stop demonstrating. As KMPDU and other civil uh, societies, we've already proceeded to court against the defamatory action and statement that was released yesterday. So I think uh, as a union and as uh, the civil societies, will serve uh, the AG onto that because the IG on that because he can't contravene the constitution. Everybody, every Kenyan is below the constitution and we are all up to comply. On the flip side, I want to say that the government is the one on strike. All these public health sector unions, KMPDU, KUKO and KUMLO, we are all been saying we are ready to meet by the government that has continuously been on strike. The Law Society of Kenya, Katiba Institute, the Kenya Human Rights Commission, and other CSOs are among other bodies which condemned Kome's Sunday statement. <laughs> Meanwhile, the unions have doubled down on their demands, petitioning President William Ruto to establish a multi-sectoral working team to quote and unquote comprehensively address the perennial issues in the health sector. We will have to sit and have a return to work agreement that actually spells out protections of the collective bargaining agreement that was signed. There is no any other way out of it. They may fire all of us as they are, pro as they are valued. They may kill all of us, they may try to suck all of us, but we keep on saying that there's nothing other than negotiation that will make sure that will make it possible to suspend these strikes. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, I'm Mesh Msimbi.